classes and for students who are interested offers therapeutic and Reiki assists. Outside of the yoga studio, Catherine is a wife, mother, public health professor, and advocate for better, for bettering consumer experience in healthcare. So let's welcome Catherine. Thank you, Katie, and thank you, Helen, and thank you all of you for all of the incredible speakers today. The goal of this session is to really end on a positive note. Could you spotlight my video? Yes, Helen's going to do that. Thank you, Helen. Um, and thank you all. If this is your first yoga class or if you've practiced a long time, um, please be mindful that this is your body. I'll be making suggestions over the next 15 minutes that are intended to feel good. But if anything doesn't feel great, just back off that posture and do what makes your body feel good without judgment today. So you could be sitting in your chair today or on your couch. When we practice chair yoga, we sit at the edge of our chair and our knees are over our ankle bones. And uh, I'll be using some of the hand yoga today. Um, so the belly is strong and the hands are resting on the knees. And let's just begin by bringing breath into the belly. Let the belly rise. And as you exhale, let the breath flow down through your pelvis, your sacral area. Oops. Wasn't intending to have music there. And into the toes. This is called the Apanavayu breath. Bring the breath into the belly. And then exhale the breath down into the thighs and out the toes. Feeling grounded in the earth. One more, bring the breath into the belly. Inhale through the nose and let the breath go grounding you into the earth. Now bring the middle finger and the fourth finger to touch the thumb. This is called the Apanavayu Mudra. And this helps us to release and to let go. We will also begin our practice with an alternative, alternate nostril breathing. So this is a good mudra to practice when you want to feel grounded and let go. The same breath in through the belly. And exhale, let the breath travel down through your toes. And now bring the second finger of the right hand, the third and the fourth finger to the palm and place your thumb, your pinky on your left nostril. We're gonna do alternate nostril breathing. So we're gonna breathe first through the right nostril, hold at the top, and then exhale through the nos left nostril and then bring it back up through the left and traveling down. We'll do that three times. So place your pinky on your left nostril and inhale through the right nostril. Clearing the breath, hold at the top, press your thumb to the nostril, hold at the top, and then exhale through the left nostril, and then inhale through the left nostril, hold at the top, and then exhale through the right nostril. Same time, two more times, inhale through right, Hold at the top, exhale through the left nostril. Inhale through the left. Hold at the top and then exhale through the right nostril. Beautiful. Now shake that out. Let's begin by interlacing our hands and begin to warm up the shoulders, warm up the wrists. We've been doing a lot of sitting today, so let's move a little bit. That's it. This is the mudra of believing in yourself, releasing yourself from limiting possibilities. We can do a lot of yoga with our hands. So even if your legs and your, your knees and your hips aren't feeling like moving today, we can energize through our hands. Extend the arms in front of you. Inhale the arms overhead. Relax the shoulders. Belly is strong. Side body stretch over to your right. 
Inhale up. Exhale over to your left side body stretch. Beautiful. Now forward fold. Bring your chin to your chest. Relax your arms. Let them come behind you. And then inhale. Bend your arms. Bring your hands to your ears and open your heart. Inhale. As you inhale, smile. Bring the breath into the diaphragm. And then exhale. Push away. Bring your chin to your chest. And then interlace your fingers, bring them into your heart. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Ha. <sighs> One more time. Inhale the arms overhead. Rise like the sun. Exhale forward fold. Bring your chin to your chest. Arms behind you. Bend the arms. Bring the hands to the ears. Open the heart. Exhale, push away chin to chest. Interlace the hands, bring them to your heart. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, let something go. <sighs> Beautiful. Now bring the knees wide. If the knees aren't feeling good to go wide, just keep your feet hips width distance apart. And then we'll inhale our hands, almost like jazz hands. You can shake the hands. That's it. Bring energy. Energy through the fingertips. And then bring your right arm, right elbow to your knee. You can also take that upon a mudra here. So that is the middle and the fourth finger touching the thumb. Bend to the side. Inhale. Feel all four corners of your feet grounded into the earth here. As you exhale, left elbow to the left knee. Inhale up. Inhale the arms overhead. Bring the knees back to center. Now bring your right arm under your left and give yourself a hug. Bring your chin to your chest. And touch the top of your shoulders and give yourself a little massage. Right on the trapezius or the top of the shoulders. Beautiful. Now inhale, lift the elbows. Open the throat. And then exhale, bring the chin to the chest, unwind the arms, inhale the arms overhead, bring the pinkies to face one another. Exhale, forward fold, let it go, bring your chin to your chest, arms behind you. And then bend the arms, bring the hands to the ears, open the heart. Exhale, push away, something no longer serving. Interlace the hands, bring them back to your chest. Beautiful. Take a deep inhaling breath through the nose. This is the mudra of unshakable tr trust in yourself. And bring your hands to your knees. And then lightly bring the fingertips as far down as you can touch. If you can't touch your toes, not a big deal today. Just bring the fingers down lightly. Bring some massage to the lymphatic system. So lightly massaging here, bringing it should feel good just at the skin level. And then bring that up to the diaphragm and resting here. Beautiful. Now inhale your left arm high and touch the top of your left wrist and lightly touch the lymph nodes here, bringing under the breastbone to the diaphragm. Beautiful. Same thing, right arm high. Bring the fingertips to touch the right wrist and then lightly massage. Beautiful. Both arms overhead. This time bring your left arm under your right. Give yourself a hug, eagle posture. Massaging the top of your shoulders. Maybe bringing your shoulders up to your ears as you inhale, rolling them back. And then inhale the shoulders. Elbows lift high. And then exhale, unwind your arms. Bring the feet back out wide or keep them square to the center. This time, bring your hands to your knees and open the heart from here. Gaze to the ceiling or to the sky. And then bring your chin to your chest. Beautiful. Now extend that left leg out. If this is too much on the hips, you could always have that foot a little bit square or just your knees bent. If you're breathing, you're doing it right. 
knees over the ankle bone, arms extend. You can take your Apana Mudra of release here. Belly is strong. Flip the palms to the ceiling. Bring the arms overhead to touch the fingers. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Press the palms together. Press your thumbs to your heart sternum. Open the heart. Inhale back out to your warrior, your proud warrior. Honor yourself today for all that you have learned, for all the strategies you have for the future and for your own well being. Bring your right forearm to your knee and extend that left arm in front toward me. Bring the shoulder bone back and then flip the palm, extend the palm. Extended side angle. Beautiful. Inhale back to your proud warrior. Bring your feet back together. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale forward fold, vinyasa pass. Bring your arms behind you. Bend the arms to the ears. Open the heart and then push away, chin to chest. Interlace the fingers, bring them back into your heart center, thumbs up. Unshakable trust in your ability. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, and as you exhale, let that wind of your breath travel down through your torso, into your knees, out into the earth below. And then hands on the knees, bring your feet back out to your goddess pose. This time we'll extend that right leg out with the right big toe pointing to the ceiling. Your left knee is over your ankle bone. Again, if your hips are not feeling that, have your foot straight out in front of you or even bend that leg. And then the left arm extends out upon a mudra. Be released here. Inhale, let Exhale, go. Now flip the palms to the ceiling. Bring the fingers to touch. And then hands together, bring your hands to heart center. Press the thumb into your sternum. Open the diaphragm. Uplifting breath. Inhale back out. And then bend your left arm, forearm to your left knee. Inhale the right arm high. Extend the right arm toward the screen. Bring the shoulder bone back. Flip the palm. Extended side angle. Beautiful. And then coming back, I'm going to show you two final postures that, are, that feel quite delicious. Um, but before we do that, I want to make sure that you know that you can massage your own head. So just lightly touch and massage in a way that feels good, almost like you're washing your own hair. Just touching the light with lightness, sending lightness and ease to the head. And as you do that, begin to take that breath. So the inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Beautiful. Then I want to show you a position with the hands to press between the first, the thumb and the second finger to press that space that could feel a little tender on the hand. And that is a lovely pressure point to relieve tension in the head. And then we're going to end on a final mudra and then I'm going to show an inversion. And not all of us can get down on the ground, so we won't all be going there, but we'll have, all, we'll have options. So the final mudra that I'd like to show you is called the Masha Shirsha mudra. It's called the mudra of the big head. And it's a tricky mudra. It's difficult to do. The fourth finger, the ring finger, gets tucked into the palm. And then the, the thumb, the second finger, and the third finger come to touch, and the pinky rises up. And you place that mudra, relaxing the shoulders and holding this mudra with the mantra as tension 
is released to the earth below. I rest in absolute comfort and ease. As tension is released to the earth below, I rest in absolute comfort and ease. As tension is released to the earth below, I rest in absolute comfort and ease. Beautiful. So you may rest if it's not in your practice to get down on the ground and do an inversion today. Just lean back in your chair and practice your mudra of the big head and let this mudra be your friend. We practice this mudra for five, start out with five minutes a day. It's also a nice way to just send yourself some love and kindness to send those you love love and kindness and those who are suffering love and kindness. And when we send that out into the world, everything shifts. And for those of you who are able to get out of your chair, I wanted to show you a nice inversion that can be done with your feet on a bed or a couch. So mindfully coming down onto your back. This could also be done with feet up against the wall. It's very, very powerful uh, for the head to create an inversion. So bring the knees onto the chair. You don't need to have a pillow under your head, but it's nice sometimes. So get comfortable here. And you can even practice your mudra with your palms face up here. Either the apana mudra with the thumb, the fourth finger and the middle finger, or the mudra of the big head with the ring finger into the palm and the thumb, second and third fingers touching pinkies extended. Feel grounded in your chair or on the earth. And let the breath serve as a powerful regeneration for your body and your mind. When you let go of what no longer serves you, you create space for what's meant to be. May you all rest in absolute comfort and ease. Namaste. Thank you. Catherine, that was amazing. Thank you so much. And I um, know that I teach three, um, I teach two free chair yoga classes a week. And if you'd like access to those on Zoom, please email me at djlovedoctorvt at gmail.com. I also have a website, djlovedoctor.com. And all of my classes are there. I teach for free. I also teach through sanghastudio.org by donation. Wonderful. That was very nice. Um, and it's always helpful to have some breathing exercises and just gentle stretches. I think sometimes people hear the word yoga and immediately think they have to get into, you know, these inversions and twists and um, that's too much when you have a migraine, but this can be really helpful. So I hope this opened up some new um, experiences for you all by taking part with Catherine uh, and with Carolyn in the art therapy and realizing how uh, unintimidating that can be. So that, uh, does anyone have any questions for Catherine? I didn't see any. Um, somebody mentioned they wish they had a recording of this. We actually did record the session. Um, the presentations we won't be sharing uh, for a couple of months because we have the um, we have continual uh, virtual education days and we want to encourage people to attend in person online. Um, but once they're all over, we will share the recordings and we'll probably share the yoga recording uh, much sooner. Yes. So Catherine, is your, is your website uh, DJ uh, Love 
doctor.com. Okay, so we spell out the word doctor, D-O-C-T-O-R. Just message me and I will send you the Zoom links. I teach two free chair yoga classes a week. And I will also be um, posting special chair yoga on my YouTube site devoted to um, people that are experiencing headaches and migraines in honor of all your work. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The YouTube channel is DJ Love Doctor. All right. Wonderful. Well, that wraps us up for today. I think we did, we were pretty close to sticking to our schedule. I really appreciate all of you who stuck with us through the whole session today. Um, I hope that it was beneficial to you. Shortly after we close out today, we'll be sending you um, a link with a survey and we would really appreciate you taking a few minutes to give us some feedback. Like I said at the beginning, we'll do a drawing in a couple of days for a Miles for Migraine shirt uh, and one of our um, new masks. So as a little incentive for you. Um, if you have any questions on anything that was presented today or questions that you didn't get answered, feel free to send me an email and I'll be happy to address those with you one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and just thank you so much for your support and participation today. Take care.